So with all the recent rumors we have gotten about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4 now, one rumor is kind of getting a little interesting. And that is actually going to be that there is, first off, going to have an under-display fingerprint reader on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The hinge will be, of course, smaller. The inner display is going to be bigger, which means the outer display is going to be bigger. There's going to be no pen silo. There's going to be the same exact battery as the Z Fold 3. And now, the latest rumor is the Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4 might actually be cheaper than the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3. So coming in from Ross Young here, he says Samsung Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 phone production for July are more than doubled what it is for the Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3, pointing out to be a very strong launch. Might see a price cut. So I will definitely say, you know, $1,700 is a lot of money to ask for what was the Z Fold 3 and now upcoming Z Fold 4. Now, I think the Z Flip 4 at $1,000 is still pretty reasonable, uh, especially when you look at the rest of the market and kind of judge based on that. Um, now, if, if there is a huge price cut or even a little bit of a price cut for the Z Flip 4, I think a nice price for that phone would probably be around $700. I think that would be a nice little, you know, kind of range for that price tag. Now, when it comes to the Z Fold 4, how much of a price tag will we see a cut, right? Because this is kind of how we have to base it off of. Right now, the Surface Duo 2 is $1,000, but that's on discount. Normally, the Surface Duo 2 is at a price tag of around uh, $1,400, $1,500, depending on what gigabyte model you get. Then, of course, we have Oppo's phone that's $1,200. Then we, of course, have Z Fold 3 that's 17 which if Z Fold 4 was 17 it would still be at the top of the range. I think a nice solid price tag for the Z Fold 4, if there is a price cut, I'm going to say $1,400. i am going to say put exactly the same price tag as the Surface Duo 2 is and kind of go in that type of range. So where you're not like you're making it too expensive, you're not over making the expensive price tag, but you're kind of saying, hey, listen, if you want to buy a Surface Duo 2, you might Z Fold uh, 4 for literally the same exact price tag of that phone now obviously the oppo's phone will still be cheaper and as more and more phones come out we will probably see them coming out in that 12 1300 range i just feel like that's probably going to be the best bet for you know kind of keeping within the market now keep in mind though the surf zero three is not coming out until 2023 so we're not really going to see anyone even competing with the brand new galaxy z Fold 4 until that time period now, based on rumors, based on what we can expect, the Z Fold 4 is probably going to be pretty much the same as Z Fold 3 uh, for the most part. I mean, other than, like I said before, the thing I mentioned, the processing unit will probably be a little bit upgraded. We could see uh, one of the cameras get upgraded. Apparently, they're going to take the 50 megapixel camera from the uh, S22 and put it on the Z Fold 4. But outside of that, the Gigabyte RAM probably going to be the same. Uh, the button layout probably the same. USB-C in the bottom probably the same. Same waterproofness, same NFC. Nothing really too much of a difference. This is what I've said many times. I'm interested to see what this ends up looking like, this phone. Because I feel like this phone is just going to be the Z Fold 3, but a little fatter. I think it's going to be a little bit bigger version of the Z Fold 3. I don't think it's going to be too much crazier or bigger, but I think it's just going to be a little bit bigger. And I will definitely say, I don't think that's a bad thing. I've said this many, many times in my videos. The Z Fold 3 is one of my favorite phones of all times. It's a phone I can look at and truly say, wow, this phone is actually pretty amazing. There is not much I would actually upgrade on the Z Fold 3. And because of that, I really say the Z Fold 4, for the most part, let's say, wow, us away with, you know, this crazy, insane, you know, like bells and whistles. I don't think there's a reason to buy the Z Fold 4. Now, once Z Fold 4 comes out, it does come out at a price tag of, say, $1,500. It means Z Fold 3 would be discounted. And if that's discounted, I just don't see a reason why to buy the Z Fold 4. Because Z Fold 3 gives you pretty much everything in a cup of tea. Right, it gives you everything you need possible. The only issue with it is the crease and the outside display being a little bit too thin. If Z Fold 4, unless this outside display looks like Opera's Find 5G, if it's a little bit thicker, like by one inch, 
there's no real no point to buy it because you can just get the cheaper version of the z4 3 and get everything else you need it depends on how much more they improve but based on what i understand right now we're going to see maybe a little bit upgrade of the processing unit same gigabytes of ram a one inch extra on the you know actual one inch extra on the screen on either screen both screens and also it's gonna be a little bit thinner because the hinge will be a little bit different but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be worth the extra money to go ahead and buy again like i said i'm gonna have to wait and see what ends up happening i want to see this unit in front of me i want to see this unit in my hands i want to go ahead and uh, break it down tell you guys what i'm thinking and my opinions of it but i don't know it's just me personally right now I know they said that they are projecting to sell 10 million, 10 million units of the Z4 4 and Flip 4 uh, across both of them. I hope they do. I really do. I hope they do. Okay, I hope this is very successful and we can see this, you know, affordable phone market continue to reach next, you know, levels and continue to get greater and greater. I just don't know if I really, I would recommend it to anybody. I mean, it's already hard to recommend the Galaxy Z4 4 or 3 at $1,700. Now you're going to add a Z Fold 4 where it has to increase bells and whistles here. And if it's, unless it's like a three, four hundred dollar price cut, a hundred dollar price cut is just not going to cut for me personally. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.